What up, y'all? It's Fort Worth Fabian, man. Big Boss Fable. I'm back with a video. Back with a Law and Crime Network reaction. I'm actually doing a reaction to Buster Murder. I'll break silence on Stephen Smith death investigation, man. When I saw this video posted, I had to tap in, tune in, bro, because I'm familiar with the story, the background of the story in terms of the murder stuff, right? That being said, uh, like, I tapped into the documentary. Um, the Murdoch Mystery documentary got insight into a lot of the occurrences, a lot of weird occurrences and stuff was happening throughout history when it came to this family. They had so much pull within the city, they could pay people off. They was very high up in like the political rankings and they had a lot of friends in a lot of different places, bro. So a lot of stuff was swept under the rug. That being said, both of the sons, right? Alex Murdoch has two sons, obviously Buster, um, Paul Murdoch. Uh, who uh, basically passed away. I mean, Alex murdered Paul, you know what I'm saying? So with that being said, uh, both of his sons were tied to incidents to where people had passed. So this is the one to where there was no real resolution on. People are unsure, uncertain, but they want to accuse Buster of having some type of association with the victim who passed away. Um, basically, the story is that Buster and uh, Stephen Smith had an intimate relationship or had some type of relationship uh, I guess Buster didn't want the public or people to know uh, about him being in a homosexual relationship. So then, you know, him and his friends did something to Stephen Smith. So that's kind of the context behind the story. Let's see what they kind of have to say about this, man. Let me know y'all's thoughts on this in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Uh, check out my Law and Crime playlist as well. Linked in the description and comment section below. Thank you for coming back to Law and Crime. I'm Linda Kenny Bodden. Well, to start off the hour, I want to switch gears from our regular trial coverage to discuss another Murdoch making headlines. Uh, just a few weeks ago, after disgraced former attorney Alec Murdoch was sentenced to life in prison for the death and the murder of his wife Maggie and his son Paul, his other son Buster is in the spotlight. Back in 2021, South Carolina Law Enforcement Division, or SLED as they are called, announced that they were reopening the investigation into 19-year-old Stephen Smith's death after new information was found during the investigation of Maggie and Paul Murdoch's uh, deaths. Well, surviving son, that surviving son, Buster, is rumored to be involved in the 2015 death that was dubbed a hit and run at the time. Now, Smith's family is having his body exhumed for a private autopsy, leading Buster to respond to the allegations against him. Buster denies any involvement, but said his heart goes out to the Smith family. This morning, there was a press conference, so I want to watch a snippet of that conference of where the Smith family attorney, Eric Bland, discusses the logistics of their investigation. With this, uh, so let's go to that right now. An exhumation can cost anywhere between ten and twenty-five thousand dollars. You saw in the uh, the murder trial that expert witnesses can charge up to six hundred, seven hundred dollars an hour. Um, they're most some of the world-renowned people, and we want we want to get the best of the best. We're going to find out who is the best at this, and if they're out of state. They're going to charge for their travel time and they charge a daily rate and sometimes that daily rate can be anywhere between five thousand and seventy five hundred dollars so uh, we can assure Dang. everyone the money is not going to blame richter we're not charging legal fees to petition the court and oversee this process that is what we are contributing we would have done this sooner we were willing to donate our time but we didn't have the money and you these costs are expensive. You saw it in the, mur the, murder, the murder trial, and that's why that was so good, because the public got to see. Expert witnesses do consume a lot of the trial um, budget. And in this case, not only are we going to need the forensic pathologist. I'm just wondering, after the exhumation, if that's even an official term, after you do this exhuming, right? Like, what is you looking for that you couldn't find initially when y'all did an autopsy of the body? You know what I'm saying? Like, I just don't understand, bro. Like, it's like, how do you miss things that you could have caught prior? There shouldn't be a reason to re-exhume unless you're really just not taking a lot of detail, if you're not really being particular. Why is you re-exhuming, re whatever the word is, unless you know for sure you missed something? Does that make sense? Maybe correct me if I'm wrong, if I'm just not familiar with the industry and the purpose, but I'm like, why do you need to go back to relook at something that you missed prior when you should have pretty much, pretty much had all the ducks in a row to begin with, if that makes any sense, bro? But we're going to need investigators. 
and people who can specialize in accident reconstruction. You know, we, Ronnie and I have trucking cases all the time and an accident reconstruction is, can cost anywhere from 15 to $20,000. So let's not have the dollars stop coming. There'll be full transparency on this money, I can assure you. Any questions that you want where it'll go, we will show you where the money will go. I almost got ahead of myself before that because I'm so excited to introduce Anjanette Levy. She's with us now. She is the one, the only, long crimes one and only, I would ask or tell people. Anjanette, thanks for coming on. What do you have to tell us about this new development? Well, it's a pretty big development, Linda. Sandy Smith is Stephen Smith's mother. And she has been on a mission for the past nearly eight years, mm -hmm. uh, hoping to find out what happened to her son back on July 8th of 2015. Uh, his body was found in the middle of Sandy Run Road in Hampton County, South Carolina. It was deemed a hit and run by the pathologist who performed the autopsy at the time. Uh, but she and some troopers with the South Carolina Highway Patrol were never convinced that his death was a hit and run. They felt like something else happened and that his body, that Stephen's body, was placed in the middle of that road because there was no debris left from a hit and run. So Sandy Smith has been represented by a number of attorneys over mm. the years. And it just in the last week or so, it appears uh, that she has retained Eric Bland and Ronnie Richter. And they represented the family of Gloria Satterfield along with some financial crimes victims of Alec Murdoch's. And she's obviously turned to them because uh, they're able to get some attention in the press, obviously, and there's been great interest in this case. But she also set up a GoFundMe page in the last week or so, asking to raise $15,000 for an independent autopsy and an exhumation of Stephen's body. It's not that easy. You have to get a court order in order to exhume a body. You have to show cause as to why this is necessary. Uh, but she had told me a couple of weeks ago when I spoke to her on the phone about this, that she didn't trust the first autopsy. And SLED, uh, the South Carolina Law Enforcement Division, which has opened an investigation into Stephen's death, and that investigation is ongoing. SLED said progress is being made. She said it was her understanding if SLED were to ask to exhume the body, then uh, the Medical University of South Carolina, which performed the first autopsy, would have to be involved in this. And she didn't trust that autopsy. So mm. she wants an independent. See what I'm saying? She basically didn't trust it. She like, man, y'all dropped the ball. So I don't even want to rock with y'all no more. I ain't even messing with y'all, bro. Evaluation. She sought to raise $15,000. She's now raised more than $60,000 because Damn. of the attention that this GoFundMe page has received. So uh, she said all of the money from that GoFundMe page, from that account, will be used to hire experts, to hire investigators. They want to start from square one and find out once and for all what happened to Steven. Because even if it is a hit and run, they still don't know who, who hit him and ran and didn't stop to uh, provide aid to him. So. Uh, she wants to know once and once and for all what happened to her son. Angela, do we know when this will take place? We don't know, uh, Linda, and there's still no guarantee that an uh, exhumation will occur. Uh, they have to get a court order for this, and Eric Bland said they will be filing the paperwork uh, to get this exhumation, to get the ball rolling, to hopefully get court a court order for it, because you literally have to go dig up a grave and pull uh, the casket out of the ground and have this uh, transported to whatever facility is going to perform this work. And so they have to file the paperwork for that, request a hearing, show cause for it, and then get the ball rolling in that direction. And they hope to do that within the next 30 days or so. Also, uh, they're still looking for a pathologist uh, to perform this exhumation and to perform the autopsy because you have to have somebody who's dealt with this type of thing before. You can't just have, uh, you know, a pathologist, maybe a typical pathologist, I guess. I guess they have to have some experience with exhumation. So hmm. no timeline on that just yet. All right. It's crazy about like this is random about how how many things like people don't really know about when it comes to specific professions, bro. Like criminology, like a lot of these. What's it called? What was Dexter, bro? 
I forgot the the if you know the show Dexter, what what was he? He was a uh, forensic psychologist. I don't even know. He looked at forensics, I believe. But point being is, it's crazy the detail that goes into things that we're just. I mean, maybe some people are privy to this process, but bro, like when you're not familiarized with the industry like this and the background, it's crazy the detail and the amount of specifics that go into things that you just have no clue about like I, you, like i was like i didn't know that you need a certain eximist you know what i'm saying with a certain skill level to be able to perform the procedure at this point in time when it's like an autopsy being done at a later point in time you know what i mean it's like i don't know it's just it's just it's informative the best way to say that you know what i mean so hey let me know y'all thoughts on this one in the comment section below man rp steven smith um, it doesn't really look like, I guess the only real detail, you know, Buster provided was his condolences and prayer, whatever, like his condolences to the family and hoping that everything goes to plan in terms of, you know, um, justice in resolving, resolving this, you know, it's pretty much, it's unsolved at this point. It's an unsolved mystery. Um, so with that being said, man, let me know y'all thoughts down below. Comment on this. What do y'all think? Y'all think Buster did it? And uh, it's just been a cover up all these years. Um, you know, obviously, I hope that uh, justice is served. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully they get down to the bottom of it with this uh, exhumation. So peace, love, prosperity. We'll catch you guys in the next video, man. We out.